girl hey it is your girl tiara of reflect the glory by tiara and on today's video we are going to be reviewing some of the house of siage's perfumes so if you like perfumes if you are a perfume connoisseur if you are just getting you know into perfumes if you just want to be a little nosy or you know get a little information about perfumes well you come to the right place if you're a returning viewer make sure you hit that subscribe button um, like comment and share and that way you can stay up to date on all my newest videos and without further ado let's get into the video I well first of all I just got into perfumes not too long ago I think for me the pandemic was like that thing that kind of made me kind of like pivot into perfumes because it was like a, an escape for me so yeah that's where i started my perfume journey and so now it's just been like really really exciting to get new perfumes and to just figure out what kind of perfumes i love and i like what kind of notes i like um just learning about different you know plants and you know the oils that come from those plants and just how they can really work together to make some really beautiful fragrances so I decided that I wanted to get into the cupcake gang and if you don't even know what that is I'm referring to the house of Siage. okay so the house of Siage has these perfumes that are in the shape of cupcakes and they have like I don't know how many Swarovski crisp Swarovski crystals on them um, just beautifully decorated perfumes and so um, I wanted to I wanted to try some perfumes and just see what all the hype was about is it worth the hype you know what I mean so um, yeah I did make a few purchases and I actually made more than a few because I now have with me about one two three four four different purchases one of, of the purchases I made was actually for the um, the discovery set so that I wouldn't waste my money on perfume fragrances that I did not like um, so um, the first perfume that I got actually let me grab it actually no let's okay so the first purchase that I made I got like probably last week and I got this purchase because I got this fragrance because it was like a collector's item and yeah let me show y'all what I got so I got the Wonder Woman um, 80th anniversary edition um, perfume from the house of Siage um, and it came wrapped I see y'all as y'all can see it's got the plastic on it so your girl is not is not playing no games. This video is not spon is not sponsored. You know, I wasn't influenced by them to buy their fragrance. I just I just wanted to try. So I'm just gonna open this up. Y'all, I've been having so many like personal things happen in my life, and that's why I just I'm just now getting the chance to do like a review. So yeah. So this is the box. It is this gold box with these bows on it, red bows. Beautiful box, by the way. Um, there you go. You can see. Um, I really don't want to take the bows off, but I'm going to take the bows off, y'all. All right. So let me see. Let me scoop back so y'all can see. So it opens up from the front. House of Sillage flips open and in the front here it's got a little side pocket it has the Wonder Woman let me turn it the right side up we have the Wonder Woman comic book um, 80th anniversary from DC comics and it's just like a comic book so you can see here y'all that's pretty cool so like I never really watched Wonder Woman but I just you know it's empowering um, but I just thought it was kind of crazy how the woman that they have 
to play Wonder Woman was so slender. You know what I mean? In the movie, not saying she didn't deserve to be or to play Wonder Woman, but I just kind of felt like, yo, like Wonder Woman had a lot of body. Like she was, she had muscles, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I just felt like that was kind of odd that they had, you know, somebody who was a lot slender play her role, but you know how Hollywood is. But um, this isn't that real person anyways, but I don't know why I'm saying that. But that's pretty cool. So let's see what else is inside of the box. Let me just go ahead and flip this thing around. I'm trying to show y'all everything, but that's kind of hard to do. I love this box, by the way. I think it's beautiful. So if we open the box here, let me show y'all. It has the fragrance, and I believe it comes with the candle. So this is a scented candle says Wonder Woman 80th anniversary edition scented candle so I think I'm gonna open that first I love a good candle who don't love a good candle all right so that is our box and we are opening it in this gold beautiful foiled gold box Opening the top, as you can see, there's a candle inside, and this is the candle. So, the candle does smell really, really good. It kind of smells like an incense type of candle. Yeah, so it's not powerfully strong or anything like that. It just has a very good, like, soft, warm, I almost want to say it has some patchouli in it, but I'm not really sure. But it is a very good, nice, sweet candle. And it goes really good with all of my little table accents here. So I'm just going to put this away. The last thing that we have in here, last but not least, in this wonderful box, Eels is the Wonder Woman 80th anniversary fragrance. I have not smelled this yet. You know, I'm hoping that it smells amazing because I did, you know, purchase it with my own coins. All right, so this is the box that it comes in. And you open up the top. and flip open, open the inside, you have your card. That is great. So you get this like little gold card um, and it says, uh, House of Siage, 80th anniversary edition. Congratulations, you are now the exclusive owner of the Wonder Woman 80th anniversary edition fragrance by the House of Siage. This fragrance celebrates the iconic Wonder Woman in a, gold, a new gold anniversary limited edition design. Release your inner goddess. We're gonna say, release your inner princess, okay? Um, plate yourself in armor and prepare to unleash the prowess of an iconic heroine. Houseofsiage.com. So I'm gonna put this back into the box and we are going to get into these scents, okay? So poor thing, she done tilted in her little box, but it's okay, we're gonna take off the little styrofoam. As you can see, um, we see all the crystals in on the top of this beautiful fragrance. It's just like a W, and it's got like a face in the middle of it. So this is the actual bottle itself. It's a red, I don't know if y'all can really see it, but it's red and gold, and let me stand up. So it is red and gold and red, blue and gold, I should say. And the bottle is like a deep red and it's got all the crystals on top. So these are all the Swarovski crystals on top. 
and um, it says Wonder Woman in the front. I don't know if you can see that, but that's what it says. Um, and then for the crystals on the sides, it's like all stars. So I thought that was pretty fly. I mean, that's pretty, pretty, you know, what they would call bougie, but to be honest with y'all, I'm bougie. I'm that girl. So call me bougie if you want to. I don't even really care. I'm bougie all day, every day. I like nice things and I make no apologies for it. Okay. So I'm just going to smell this. We're gonna do like a little spray. Oh, wow. Okay, so I'm gonna let that settle in. I'm still trying to get my impression of this perfume. While I am letting this settle in, I want to show you the inside of the lid of this. It says House of Siage, and as you can see, it has the Wonder Woman emblem on there. And um, it's just gold plated. I think they said this is like real gold plating on here. So, you know, just know like, when you're buying one of these fragrances, I think what I love the most about it is that even though they're kind of expensive, which you can get them on sale. Um, even though they are, they are a good price when they're on sale, I'll say that. Like they are a really great price. Um, I do feel like for it to be a good fragrance, you getting, you know, a really beautiful collectible uh, bottle like that, like how can you go wrong with that? You know, like how can you go wrong with that? Because some of these perfumes come in basic bottles and you have to spend like a pretty penny for them. So the fact that, you know, you can get a really nice perfume with a collectible bottle is amazing. Um, and with the Swarovski crystals as well, like that is amazing. Yeah, um, this is definitely a collector's item. So yeah, I'm gonna show y'all again. Yeah, and then the juice is inside. It's a semi-clear, like, uh, you can't see, like, that well on camera, but it starts off, like, a red color, and then as you move up to the top, it's actually blue. So I think that's kind of cool, too. Um, I'm going to sit this right here next to my prayer box. <laughs> um, as far as the scent and the fragrance goes, this fragrance is, it's different. I like the fragrance. It is more of like a, I think I'm smelling like a patchouli in there. There is no patchouli in this, but the top notes are pink pepper, bergamot, divana. The heart notes are jasmine. Y'all, I love jasmine scented fragrances. Caramel, orris, raspberry, and the base notes are vanilla, musk, and amber. Now, I am a girl that I, I really don't like musk a whole lot, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like that body kind of smell, but the musk on this is not very strong. So you don't really have to worry about the musk with that. Um, I don't know if I smell raspberry notes, but I do smell, it's like a sweet, soft, but powerful when you first when you first spray it does have a powerful you know what I mean effect like a powerful uh, scent but then as it dries down it dries down into this kind of soft yet you know like it's still got a little power to it you know but it's not something that is too much you know what I mean it's not too strong it's like a, a it has a good balance of power yet powerful scent yet softness to go with it and I would say that you know it's a good scent does it blow me away no it doesn't blow me away but it's a good scent um I feel like it's in the realm of the Kali how that vanilla 28 is has that spice to it but it's still soft and sweet 
that's how I kind of feel like this is. I wouldn't say that it is a vanilla 28 fragrance, but it's in the family of the Kaoli. You know, that like they could be cousins. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's got like a spice to it, like a sweet spice, if that makes sense. So that was that. Um, this is definitely gonna be like a collector's item for me. I really, really love like how the House of Siage has like these beautiful bottles that are, you know, that have value to them. I mean, who, what other perfume company gives you, um, you know, Swarovski crystals embellished on their bottles, you know, and take so much time and care to design, you know, their perfume bottles. The only other company that I've seen do that is the House of Oud, I believe. And I'm kind of scared to try them because their their fragrances are unisex. But I do believe that you know it's worth a try. I really do want to try House of Oud. Um, but yeah, that was the Wonder Woman 80th Anniversary um, Edition fragrance. So moving on, I have another fragrance from the House of Siage. And this one is Cheval de, uh, Cheval, Cheval, uh, Cheval Dior? Cheval Dior? Cheval Dior. Okay, if I'm not saying this right, y'all don't, you know, don't be mad. But your girl had to get Cheval Dior. I had got the Discovery set. And um, the, the, the Discovery set um, had like 10 fragrances I believe and Chauvador was one of them and I do love the bottle right out the gate you see that it has like these beautiful ruby red um, uh, Swarovski crystals on them at the top you can see where it has the fragrance name and the bottle is just so pretty like it's clear it's red at the bottom but then it gets clear towards the top and then once you take off the lid you definitely see you know where it says house of siage and it has the name of the actual fragrance so that's pretty cool hopefully y'all saw that i don't know but i can't i guess i can spray it on me i don't want to because i've already sprayed miss wonder woman over here but chauvador i guess for the sake of this video oh my god this is better than the Wonder Woman fragrance to me. It's almost like fresh cherries. It's, it's not, it doesn't smell like cherries, but it smells like berries or something. Like, it's like when you first spray it, it's like fruity, but it's like one fruit and it smells so good. And it's like, it's got a tartness to it, you know, and, um, it's got a sweet tartness to it. I like it. And I when I first smelled, you know, the fragrance, I was like, oh my God, I have to I have to get this. And I could say, like, this fragrance to me, you could wear it in the springtime. It's definitely a spring scent. And it's not as soft as the Wonder Woman fragrance, but it's just like I want to say like a florally like fruity fragrance like and it's nice um it's got like a a good balance of floral and fruity that's what that's all i can really say about it and it's got like some like it's it smells like it has like a cherry or berry scent to it so let me look up the notes in this um uh, Fragrance. Top notes are wild strawberries, magnolia, heart, the heart notes are black rose, Turkish rose, and the base notes are vanilla and sandalwood. So with this one, I guess that's where I was, I was smelling the berries. It's like you smell the strawberries like right off, like right off the bat. The top notes are definitely those strawberries. I don't know why I thought that was cherries, but hey, it is what it is. Um, as far as like the vanilla and the sandalwood, I do smell the sandalwood, but the vanilla I don't really smell. I just smell 
like the strawberries um the rose i do smell the rose like it kind of reminds me of the chloe uh um fragrance like i can smell the rose in there but um it has a very like powerful strawberry scent to it so for my ladies that like to smell fragrant like you know like a uh, feminine i would just say like this i don't think you can go wrong with this one do i feel like it is an older woman fragrance no i feel like it's different like i feel like um like a a woman in her mid-20s or a woman in her 30s you know like I feel like it's a good balance between a younger woman and an old, not an older woman, but like, I feel like it has a range when it comes to like ages. Like you can definitely like wear this like, and not smell too old or too young, if that makes sense. But yeah, Chevador is, I, I hope I'm saying this correctly. Chevador Shove, Shove, is <laughs> a beautiful fragrance. Um, it's pretty it's pretty it's fruity and it's pretty i'll just say it like that and like i said like the crystals on this is very pretty and it's gold plated as well and the bottle is just really really pretty so that is shavador if i'm saying it correctly y'all don't be mad don't even be mad at me i'm gonna put her back in the box um like, I'm actually like so happy that I get to share in these fragrance, you know, unboxings because this is kind of fun, y'all. I really, I really like it. My camera, my, my camera cut off on me, y'all. All right, y'all. So the next fragrance I'm going to talk to y'all about is the first, is the second fragrance that I got from um, the House of Siage. Okay. So this fragrance comes in the same white box. These are all from their signature line, signature collection, okay? Um, this one is called Love is in the Air. Um, I did listen to a lot of reviews of these fragrances before I per made my purchase. And that was because I just wanted to see what the women were saying, you know, like, but I know that we all have our own, you know, sophisticated tastes and we all you know like different things so i just kind of wanted to get a good synopsis before i purchased and this was one of the purchases that i made because i heard so many things about it um but this is the box once again it comes like this in the box um with uh, with more of the styrofoam of course but that is the top of it and then you pull it down and that is your fragrance so this is love is in the air and it has a silver top to it and the bottle is like has like a bluish tint to the bottom part it's like a light blue i don't know if y'all can see it but it's like a light blue and then it's like got this like golden color juice in the, in the actual fragrance and then here is the name of it love is in the air and um so it's a pretty bottle um pretty little cupcake so with this fragrance, let's see, I'm going to try the other arm now, y'all, since I didn't use up my left arm, I can get the top off of it. It's like I don't want to take the crystals off with the top. Goodness gracious, they got this thing on here tight. Okay, so House of Siage, love is in the air, as you can see, very, very nice little encrustation there okay so this fragrance that is nice this is my first time opening up this fragrance y'all that is nice y'all see this one put a smile on my face see that's how you know it's real when your girl's smiling oh my god that smells so good you know it kind of reminds me of j'adore by dior um it's a very sophisticated 
sophisticated fragrance. Like, it's beautiful. Like, if I had to, like, say, like, what this was, like, as far as, like, how it makes me feel, like, I would say, like, this fragrance is very, very beautiful. It's like your classy, elegant woman who is either in the boardroom or just somewhere, you know, at dinner with her husband, maybe, or it could be an executive level or it could just be, you know, a personal level. Like you could work, you could, you could use it for work or you could use it for your personal life. Like it's a, it's that fragrance. Very, very, very sophisticated woman. Like she, she's, you know, the serious type, but she's beautiful. She knows what she's doing. She's confident. She's gorgeous. You know what I mean? Like she's elegant. She's classy. She's put together. Okay. Beautiful. Like, I think when I used the sampler set, I didn't get the fullness of, you know, the fragrance. Like, but the fragrance actually has this like very, you know, uh, that's the wrong arm. It has this like exude, it exudes confidence. Like love is in the air. Now I wouldn't call it, if I had to choose a name for it, I would not call it anything regarding love. But I do think that like, it's like for a boss, ba a, a boss bad woman. You know what I'm saying? Like she got her stuff together. Like it doesn't remind me of love. It just reminds me of being classy and feminine and beautiful and elegant. And just everything regarding being a beautiful, classy woman. That's what this fragrance is. Like love is in the air is that that fragrance. So if you're looking for more of a sophisticated fragrance, that's, that is what love is in the air is for me. And this scent smells like it will last you a long time. Like, I don't know if that's true or not, but it is a powerful scent. Like you can walk by somebody and they will smell you with this one. The other ones, they were more of a softer scent. Like you would have to like hug up on, somebody would have to hug up on you to like actually get the, the fullness of the fragrance. But with this one, it's like, oh, you walk past and the sillage, you know what I'm saying? Like you know, that fragrance will actually, people will smell it on you. So this is actually a really, really good fragrance. I didn't think I was going to really like this one as much after I had, you know, smelled it in the discovery set. But this one is actually the one that's really popping the most, like I would say in my personal opinion. But y'all, your girl is getting another fragrance. And it is the Novo No Noe Nuemoi N O N O U E V. It is the Noe Moi signature perfume. That one I have already ordered because when I smelled it in the di discovery set, like I was like blown away. Like that is that fragrance. Like I cannot wait to get that bottle, y'all, and review it with y'all. Like. That is a gorgeous scent. Love is in the air is a really, really good scent, y'all. I think Chauvador was really, really good. And of course, you know, the, this was Chauvador. Chauvador, I don't know how to, how to, you know, say it, y'all. But this was, you know, the Chauvador. And this one was Love is in the air. And um, then I had, of course, the Wonder Woman fragrance, which actually was okay. Um, for me, I just feel like it was like a softer scent. Um, Chauvador is actually that berry scent. It's gonna be your springtime scent. It's gonna be that, you know, that scent that is like different, but in a good way, but it's like a springtime summery scent. You could get away with this, like, you know, just going out to eat with your friends if you are, you know, just chilling. I mean, you could wear this anywhere. But this one right here, the love is in the air. This fragrance is a very classy, very classy and very sophisticated scent. So, 
yeah, I've started my little collection, y'all. Like, I got my little cupcakes, and I get to sit these in my room. And y'all let me know what y'all think about y'all's um, cupcakes. Like, do y'all, do y'all, which ones do you prefer? Which ones are you anticipating getting? Like I said, the Nue Moi, like that one is the one that I anticipate getting the most because that one is like, that one smelled the best in my discovery set. So yes, you can find these, um, these cupcakes on sale. They retail for $360. However, I got mine on sale. I think I got this one for like $144 and I got this one. Some of them go down to like $124. It, it just depends like I haven't seen them go past like down past like a hundred and maybe twenty dollars or something like that but to me I, I mean you get a bottle that's beautiful that's like a collector's item that has Swarovski crystals on them and is beautiful beautifully decorated with a beautiful scent to go along with them so y'all let me know what you think in the comments let me know are you gonna try it are you not gonna try it does the house of siage seem like it's a little bit too bougie for you does it not seem bougie enough y'all let me know <laughs> but anyways y'all have a blessed day and i look forward to seeing you in the next video bye bye